Hey family, today is January 1st, 2011, and I wanted to come on right quick because I'm making a pretty elaborate dish, a uh, meal for my family. I am frying some chicken. I am making the uh, tradition, which is black eyed peas, and I'm making a homemade peach cobbler as well as fried cabbage and some cornbread with um, a homemade macaroni and cheese. Um, and I wanted to show you how I make my black eyed peas and the tradition for my family, the way my mother and grandmother uh, made their black eyed peas. Anyway, I simply um, took them out of the bag. You also, you also want to run them through your hands, make sure there's no gravel or anything like that in them. And then you just wash them off. They've been washed off. What I do is I use bacon. If you can see the bacon in there. Can you see it? Okay, I take the bacon. I fry my bacon to where it's just like three quarters of the way done. When I fry my bacon, as, while the bacon is frying, I get my, uh, my, my black eyed peas and I start to clean them. You know, wash them, make sure there's no gravel in them, things of that nature. Okay. Then, I put them in a the pot, such as this. I put enough water to cover it, like the same. If, if there's this much peas in there, I put that much water in there. But yet and still, you still need to watch it. So anyway, it's going to look like that, okay? And I put that on to boil. Now, I don't put black pepper in my beans because it changes up the taste. So uh, black pepper doesn't go in beans. Not in my house, but for some people, they might put black pepper in their beans, but I don't. Uh, so I'm gonna dice up a little bit of onion. I'm gonna put some onion in there. You can also put a little bit of bell pepper. My mom used to put bell pepper in hers. And then just a little bit of sugar, like maybe, I don't know, a teaspoon of sugar. Uh, uh, just enough to taste, not to make it sweet, but um, what, Black eyed peas tend to do is they usually cream after a while. And that, you know, it just goes with it. You want it to kind of cream a little bit. And I put a little bit of salt. It's a wrap. That's it. That's all you do to black eyed peas and they come out bomb. Okay. Um, you guys have seen me make uh, the fried cabbage before. It's all still the same. Um, fried bacon and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a lid for these black eyed peas and do that and um, um, dice up me a little bit of onion, throw that in there, put in my little condiments, the little sugar, the little salt. That's it. It's a wrap. I'm going to put a top on it and I'm going to let it go. That's it. That's all. You don't put nothing else in them unless you want them to turn into something else. We're just making regular old fashioned black eyed peas. Now you can use um, some people like turkey. Uh, turkey legs and things of that nature. Um, you can use that. Um, I've also used um, a salt jaw, the same thing that I use in my greens. Um, I have used in the past um, salt pork. You could use that as well. Um, I use a lot of pork in my dishes. Now I know a lot of people are a little bit more healthier than me and they tend to use uh, turkey, which is just fine. You're still gonna do it the same way. You're just changing up the meat. But the meat is what's going to make that pot liquor. The grease that come off that bacon or whatever you're cooking, you put a little bit of that in there, leave a little bit of that to add to the little spice, to the little pot liquor to kind of, you know, bring it up a little bit, you know. So anyway, on that note, I am going to go out of this one and I'm going to come back in and we can really make a homemade, homemade, homemade peach cobbler. On that note, family. Deuces, I am out, baby. In a minute. Bye. Hey, family. I came on right quick to give a quick little update on how the dinner is going. Okay, my chicken is frying. Black eyed peas is over there doing a thing. Cabbage, done. And let me show you. Let me show you how this cobbler turns out. Hold on. Y'all got the raggedy. Y'all see this shit? Raggedy. They done got burnt up and all kind of shit done happened to them. And I ain't getting rid of them, y'all, because I love them. Now, look at this. That's the cobbler. Okay. Now, here's the baby one. The little smaller one. And that's how it comes out. 
So anyway, family, I'm getting ready to feed my crew. On that note, I love you. Jesus. Bye.